Can you hear me? Do I, do I sound too low? Uh, how is the voice sounding? Is it too soft? Right click the window and okay. Oh good. Am I too too soft? So you gotta tell me if I'm too soft. Okay. Um fit the screen, fit the screen. Uh that's not there. Oh, transform and stretch to screen. Transition? There we go. I've got it. Hopefully, are you sure? I think that'll make everything look really fat and silly. Is it going to work? There wasn't an option called that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. See, okay, that's how, just how I was, got, had it before. It's not changing on Twitch. Is it good now? Is it good now? I think the audio might be a bit behind for you. I think I might be a bit ahead of you guys. <laughs> okay, great. I, I think, uh, yeah, I think, um, can you tell me, can you guys type in the chat when you can hear me? And please tell me if I'm speaking too softly, because I think, um, I'm going to say one, two, three, not this one, but when I say three, I want you guys to type okay, because I want to see if, um, you guys are a bit ahead or, I mean, uh, a bit behind uh, my voice. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Okay, good. Okay, so it is a bit behind, but I think hopefully the, um, I'm, I hopefully I'm not sounding like staticky or anything. And, um, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, great, great, great. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm so excited to get to start me to grow a sheet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Um, everybody's ready? Everything sounds fine, so let's start. Oh my god, the final truth. Wow, jeez. This story introduces the unit inside and out using all of the actors. This is no longer a story. It is a public autopsy for all to join. As they say, after loving someone, cut open their belly and eat their organ. Jesus Christ. It's the same with stories. The difficulty is quite mild and well suited for those with pride. Massacre chapter. Jesus Christ. Who says that? After loving someone, who says that? Seriously. Right. Let's start. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> what do you got for me, Burn? You got a poem for me? Let's see. Not this time. Let's see. What are you doing? I don't see you playing by yourself that often. Confess. All you could do is nod to my question. Since when do you have your own will? Huh. I'm glad. What fun you have a sister or a brother. Is this... not the only person who would be able to talk with a sibling would be Satoshi, but... Huh? Wait. Whatever you are. I can't see the Discord right now, I can only see the stream chat, so 
If you want to say something, I'll put it in there. Whatever you are. I used to be an existence of nothingness. Just like you. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my God. We are seriously getting into the magic shit here. Oh, my God. But I started having my own. Oh god, Jeez. the sound is being wonky, oh no. How, how is it now? Can you tell me? Oh, okay, okay. I think I was fiddling with some things, so... We'll see, uh, I'll keep going. I'll try to go a bit slower for this. Oh my god, we really are getting into the magic side of Higurashi here. Oh my god. It's not a surprise to see you having your own will. Welcome to this wide but small world. My sister. Incredible. I'm just... Holy shit, we are just not mincing words here and getting right into... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We are learning the cosmology of the Higurashi world. It's just... Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, the music keeps pitching up. Oh god, I'm sorry. There's no end to this ring. But that doesn't mean that there's a wide range of possibilities in this world. Our dialogue's kind of going slow. Um, I'll try to read at the end of each line to hurt to close out. In other words, this is an endless, finite world. Mind blowing. Oh my God. But for some reason, our lives always end with death. And this is like a maze of fate. Oh, let me see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, now it's just after going through the same world over and over again. This is about the repeating, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. It, it is just appearing instantly. Let me just... I'll take it to three quarters. See how that looks. After going through the same world over and over again, you will eventually end up like me. This is some kind of... This is some kind of god or, like, being talking to... Me, I think? Like... Holy shit. Oh my god. If this world continues, it might eventually be filled with a bunch of your sisters. 
and quality will be made inside this world. Whoa, 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 what? Excuse me? Wait, what? <laughs> oh. And once we lose our interest in this maze, Peruta Rika is going to disappear from this world. Jesus, frog in Christ, oh my... Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Oh my god. It's like some kind of alien or like some kind of higher race of beings. Like, what the hell is Holy shit. What the hell is Rika? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Rika is still interested in that small world. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Five or six of them. Yeah. I like how they say that five or six because of um, Meikashi being technically the same thing as um, Watanagashi. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell are you, Blueberry? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But they disappeared into the darkness. I'm sorry for speaking stilted. I'm, I'm trying to process this revelation's mind blowing. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. These are the only pieces left. The other timeline.
are important to us in life. Those are all Ruderica's lives and her endings. And that one is... Oh. I remember that one. That's the world where Keiichi was cursed. I call that one the Mikakushi chapter because these pieces are like stories to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry, my mind is literally freaking exploding here. Oh my god, oh my god. Do you remember what happened? Yes, I do remember what happened in the Onikakushi chapter. Good. That makes things easier. Ooh. In the Onikakushi chapter, my Barakechi was taken over by the darkness. <sighs> Anion was my original fucking thing about the demon reel. Seriously. I'm gonna be so freaking pissed off. If it is. Oh no, PDI, I'm sorry, screen froze, oh god. Is it, is it back yet, or...? Do you hear me? My Barakechi was taken over by the darkness. Oh, good. I just... If Adian was freaking lying to me this entire time about... If my original theory about the motherfucking demon was real, I'm gonna be so freaking pissed off that you have no idea. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Motherfucker, seriously. Oh my god. He couldn't accept any of his friends' kind words. And eventually, beat them to death not knowing their kindness. We were all killed. We! Okay, this is someone we knew. This is someone we know. We were all killed. After that, anyway. fuck is this master god that's even above Rika? Like, oh, holy shit. Oh, what the? Oh my god. So it's someone in Hinamizawa. It had nothing to do with his story though, right? Because, okay, so just got confirmed that, dis that disaster did indeed happen in Onikakushi. <laughs> Which is something I was asking you guys, like, I think yesterday or today. And, um... <laughs> now I know. Oh, God. This is like... Oh, my God, Jesus Christ. That is the Watanagashi chapter. Sonazaki Shion was cursed in that one. She killed many people out of revenge for her boyfriend. What is in the 57th year of the Shoah era? Rika worked so hard, but she was captured at the end, and she was tortured to death. Wait, she killed herself though. 
Oh, that's why she chose to commit suicide. What? 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I gotta continue. But I did not expect the fucking beginning of me of this chapter to freaking just blow my mind in five thousand different ways. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so, okay. She's to commit suicide in the Akasha chapter because things were going to turned out the same way. Oh my god. And that other one is called the Tatara Goroshi chapter. Oh yeah, that one. Oh. Satoko's uncle came back and locked her up inside the house. This way. Oh yeah, absolutely. One thousand million hundred percent. Oof. The worst world of all, yeah. And there was nothing Mika was able to do in that world. Once Satoko's uncle comes back, Mika should just give up on that world. Oh my god. Fortunately, Satoko's uncle doesn't come back that frequently. That one is called the Sumi Horiboshi chapter. Rika was okay, so that's what we were. Rika was there until, until just a moment ago. Even that was son of a motherfucker. Oh my god, oh my fucking god, I swear I'm gonna kill you, Annie, and seriously, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. demon in that world. It was pretty exciting, I guess that's a word you could call it, to see her take over the whole school. It surprised me that Mevara Keichi had a memory of the other world. Yeah, yeah. Freaking reading Steiner, that bitch. Come on, Angie's. But then most of us have some kind of memory. Is this person saying that Keiichi is like some kind of higher being, like like whatever these people are? We all have an imaginary world, some idea of what would have happened if I did this and that. It's the strange feeling you get when you do something for the first time, but it feels like it's not your first time. Everyone has a memory of an imaginary world in their mind, but the memory is not that clear. 
not surprising. You guys just tell me if uh, you can't hear me, if my voice sounds too soft uh, at any point. Um, you were special enough to be able to see those pieces of memory. It's probably very difficult for you to understand how special you are. You were born into a world where it's a natural thing for you to see all these pieces. Oh, I was originally born in the normal world, so you've ascended. Wherever you are, mystery person. became a god. Jeez. I didn't know until recently that I could collect these pieces of memory. You grabbed those pieces just because you could, but I didn't know how to do that for a long time. Okay, JM, I hear you. Um, I'm reading out uh, what, what, what everything that's going to be said, so hopefully it'll be Okay. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully Owe is uh, recording everything so you guys can watch it on YouTube later. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're not interested in hearing my story. Yes, I am. Yes, I am hearing. Interested. Very interested. Come on, please. I really want to know. Uh, no, 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 no. Tell me. Tell me your story. Huh? What's wrong? What are you wondering about? What? You wonder why so many different incidents occur in the same world. Hee hee hee. I know. It's very interesting. Why do you think that's the case? Let's think about it together. Thinking is the first step of playing. Oh, now you're kind of sounding kind of foreboding here. The main character among Rika's friends is Mebara Keichi. <laughs> chapter, he was possessed by suspicion, and he killed the Yugu Rena and Sinazaki Neon. If that was an inevitable event, he would be killing them in all of the worlds. In other words, what Mibara Keiji does in the Inikakushi chapter is not inevitable. So the main inevitable event is the um, death of Tomitaka. Indeed, the only thing that's inevitable is the role of Meibara Keiichi itself. Not even Tomitaka. If Meibara Keiichi was someone with a suspicious heart, he would take the same action in every world. But that didn't happen. It's true that Meba Akechi is passionate and easily convinced. But it's rare for him to exhibit the kind of rage he showed in the Nikakushi chapter. Yeah, that's absolutely true. In other words, something might seem inevitable in one world. But it may not be the case if you compare the different worlds. That means that if something is inevitable, it will happen for sure in every life. That's what a true inevitable, inevitable event is like. It's very important to know that. Compare the different worlds, and what's common among all worlds is the truth. 
Understand? Like I said, what seems inevitable in one life could just be a random event in another life. The club activities that Mion suggests are a good example. This is... How is this not the last chapter? <laughs> like, this seems like... Oh my god. I'm sorry. I expected to come in here today and start reading some slice of life club activities. <laughs> and what I get is this. And like, oh, I... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The club activities that Leon suggests are a good example. Sonazaki Mion had a strong inclination towards playing certain games. You would be playing them in every world. You! Okay, you. So, the you... Is, I guess, is, is this person talking to Rika? <sighs> Let's see. But in reality, you participate in different activities in most of the world. That means that the games they play in the club are randomly decided by Sonazaki Mio. We know that because we've been through many different lives. Those who only live in one world can't see if the event is inevitable or random. Is this what Rika means when she says, she said in the Matsu, it has already been decided. Now well, that's sad. That means it's already been decided that everyone of those people would die. Those who only live once can't predict what's going on in Suzaki Mion's mind. But we can do that. Although the activities are random, Sonazaki Mion calls us together for that club meeting. For the club meeting almost every day in every life. I can see that Sonazaki Mion has a strong will for having the club meeting. Sonazaki Mion always wants to play with the club members, but she doesn't know what to play. We can read Sunazaki Mion's mind just by simply examining these pieces. Just by this, we can see part of who Sunazaki Mion really is. Let's talk a bit more about my Varakechi. For those who only live once, the world of the Unikakushi chapter is nothing but a story where Keiji suffered a mysterious hallucination and beat his friends to death. There's nothing beyond that fact. But we can compare different pieces and find out something they could never see. As a result, we know that the murder of his friend was not inevitable. told you that in the beginning. In fact, there are about five or six pieces in front of him. But he only kills his friends in one of them. That means I can conclude that the possibility of him becoming the center of a tragedy is less than 20%. He is not likely to be a threat in many of the other worlds. Can you find anything in common from this hint? You found it already? No wonder you were born to this world. You're a fast learner. I didn't find out that for a while.
I'm originally from the normal world, so I couldn't see it easily. I was caught up fig with figuring out who. My but Keiichi is, so Keiichi is special. Oh my god, okay. Right. That's exactly right. You see it? The Unikakushi, Watanagashi, Meikashi, and Sinhoroboshi chapter. All have something in common. Someone in the group becomes violent because of dark and paranoid thoughts. In each world, my Barakechi. Sonazaki Shion, or Ryugumena, became violent after succumbing to the fear. <sighs> oh my god, this is like going over theories and everything. Oh my. Oh my god. My Barakechi, Sonazaki Shion, and Ryugumena are all my close friends. They were all born and raised differently. The only common factor is that they all live in Hinami's hour. But I just said it not too long ago. When I raise these pieces up in life, I see the most important truth. There's not a lot of meaning to those suspects who are not common in all the worlds. So this higher being here is trying to figure out the mystery just like we are. And they're speaking to Rana. I mean, not Rana, sorry. Rika. I think. Also, the form of their violence is not a big factor either. My Barakechi beat his friends to death. Sonazaki Shion killed the central people and the three families. And he even managed to go with the school. They were all different. There's nothing in common. It's important to recognize that the suspects and the incidents differ all the time. The fact that they are swallowed by the darkness is exactly the same. The suspect changes every time, but the process is always the same. After comparing the different worlds, this is the truth I found. This is the one truth that is common in this world of Hinamizawa. The rule to this world is that a random person becomes violence under the influence of their dark thoughts. That is Rule X. My Barakechi, Sonazaki Shion, and Ryugu Venom all got dragged into that rule somehow. I don't know why they are a part of that rule, but they're all awesome badasses. Perhaps there's some kind of law and order to this. Is it because these three are all close in age? Or is it because they all live in Hinamizawa? But we're not detectives. It's not something a small girl like us, Ruridivika, can figure out. So either of these two people is not Rika, the one who's the one from the human world who's speaking, and the one who's a godlike being born in this higher plane of existence here. And oh my God, I was I remember when I was making charts of. Of, the, of like higher dimension of the timelines. Oh my god! I hit it right on the money. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh 
felt I know something in common with all three. So I know it's the shipper in me kind of thing, it's that they were all, they all had someone they cared about really, really deeply. But at least we know that there's a mysterious rule in the world of Hinamizawa. People who live, only live in one world have no way of knowing that. True, true. I'm proud of myself that I figured that out. But I guess for you, it's not something surprising. Huh? What did you say? That's right. If something is common about all worlds, that means it's fated to happen. The only thing I can think of common to all worlds is to be talking death. He he he, oh god. Here's this person being really person. Being, being kind of uh, untrustworthy with this laughter here. Some of them easily come to mind, doesn't it? Yup, Tumi Takajiro and motherfucking Takano Mio are always killed in those. She was. Wait, did she die in Onikakushi? They never said she died in Onikakushi. On top of that, they are murdered in exactly the same way in every world. It tells me that their deaths are something intentional that happens as the result of someone's strong will. It's not the same as the inconsistent violence that happens among my friends. Okay, this person speaking is talking about Rika separately, but it's also like they call them their friends, they're from the human world. The, who the fuck is this? They talk about Keichi. Is it Mion? Because they're the only one they have. They talked about Mion in the third person yet. violence that happens among my friends. No matter who turns violent, to be talking to Kano, they killed all the- but did they- did I miss that? Like, I don't, I don't remember them saying to Kano died in Onikakushi. world line. I need to use more Steinsgate terminology, but I see. <laughs> Do you see there's something humorous going on? Oh, hold on a second. and just did I just did I read it wrong did I read Onikagoshi wrong like because I based so much on the fact that Takano did not die in Onikagoshi 
in every world, the character who gets cursed always thinks that Tomitaki's death has something to do with the danger that's awaiting them. And the fact that someone turns violent, Rulex, and Tomitaki and Takana's death, Rule Y, this is to be two individual wounds. They just didn't find her body? Is that it? In Onikakuji? Are they aware that someone is actually trying to goad them into linking these two separate... Is it, who is... God damn it, I was fucking wrong about Takana, wasn't I? Son of a bitch! <laughs> everything on the fact that Takano didn't die in Onikakushi. <laughs> right. That person is making the world in Yamizawa a complicated place. You should see at least two suspicious people. Do you know who they are? Well, I thought it was Takano and Irie. That's right. Oh, Rishi. Wow. I didn't suspect Rishi at all, but at least I was right about Takano. You will see who Rishi Kurado is if you connect the previous pieces together. He is a detective who is retiring this year, and he's in a hurry to solve the mysterious death. After he retires, he has to move away from the village. That's why he's desperate to solve this case before he has to leave Yamizawa. Why is he so obsessed with this case? I always thought he just had a strong sense of justice. I guess it was wrong. Oh yeah, it was his friend, the manager. Himatsubushi. Finally, you mentioned Himatsubushi. I was afraid that that was going to be completely skipped. Like, they they weren't going to mention it at all, but okay. It is. It is. Rishi was there when the dam conflict was at its peak. He saw how the Sonizaki family took control of the end of the future guardians. And he believed that the Sonizaki family was pulling the strings behind the whole incident. That's why he always suspected the Sonizaki family as a suspect of the mysterious deaths in the village. His personal biased belief affected the pitiful persecution complex victims of each world. Yep, that's true. Yep. But I don't think he's behind any of this. It's just his personal prejudice against the Sonizaki that just, just allows people, it just, you know, kind of goes people suspecting them. And also, you gotta admit, the Sonizakis, Mion pretty much admitted that they pur purposefully tried to make everyone think that they were behind the, the, behind the murders. As a result, the victim in each world is led to believe that the Sonizaki family is a danger to themselves. Sonizaki Shion's case was the most conspicuous case in that matter. If Rishi hadn't interfered with the victim so much, they wouldn't have reacted so violently. He's someone who causes the tragedy indirectly. 
exactly. I don't know who named this. Oh yeah, it's, or she or some servant, a messenger in the other translation. Is a perfect name for Ishii. Now we go to Dr. Baron Von Evil Satan herself here. The other suspicious person is Takano Mia. It seems like all she does is talk about the scary history of Onibabuchi to intimidate other people. However, just like Rishi, she gives people the idea that the Sonazaki family is controlling all the mysterious incidents that happen in the village. She interfered. Yes, she fucking did. Freaking. Oh, my baby girl. What did she do to my baby girl? Oh, God. She interfered the most with me and Rubana. For Tukano Mio, it was easy to use. She used her. Yes, she did. She used me and Rubana. But ironically, Takano Mia almost ends up getting killed in the end. If she survives, the team might have taken over the school. I knew she was on the Oh, God. Yeah, get, making it really hot. I didn't think it was possible for me to. <laughs> I see that comment, Jam Chad. <laughs> Who she was cheating on. <laughs> I mean, not. <laughs> Takano is cheating on freaking. Oh no, I'm gonna have a brain fart, forget his name. Can we talk it with Rishi? That's pretty hilarious. She would have laughed at Rena taking over the school. That is really. Uh. Yeah, go ahead. I didn't think I could hate Takano even more than I already do. But you're doing that for me right here. <laughs> have you realized that these two suspicious people are also following the common rules? They talk about the Sonazaki family, and the listeners always believe them. This is what we'll see, and what a humorous world it is. We should already have an answer to this mystery. The fact is that the Sonazaki family always acts as if they are responsible, no matter what happens. They were always pretending to be the bad guy. Exactly, just like me on set, and made sure that people continued to fear them. As a result, the villagers always believed that the Sonazaki family had been pulling the strings ever since the damn conflict ended. That damn, damn conflict. Yushi <sighs> Kadadi and Takana Mio were simply fooled by that rumor. Actually, the whole village is fooled by it. But the more I think about it, the stranger the series of mysterious deaths in the Yamazawa strikes me. might be relating distinct individual murders as one big case. I can't tell that by the pieces I have, but I shall hint somewhere. Each case is supposed to be solved already. I don't know if that's true, but it might be the truth. Shion was saying something interesting in the Akashi chapter. Curse system that she came up with. Do you remember that? Her theory was that the villagers believe that they are allowed to kill the enemies of the village. Yes, I remember on the night of the Winter Hanagashi in the name of Oishiro Sama's curse. 
Oh, do you hear me? I'm sorry. Do you hear me better now? Oh god, I hope it wasn't down for too long. Tell tell me when my sound is back up. Is it is it back up yet? It is. Let's see. She believes that the curse happens because murder is allowed on that night. I can't examine this series solely based on the memory of the 58th year of the Showa era. But this is interesting. Her theory is telling us that the suspect is not the one who's committing the crime. that's causing the murder. People tend to analyze the whole life of the but that's not the point. The real crime is committed not by the criminals, but by the environment. In other words, criminal A might have committed the crime, but the poor environment might have created criminal B as well as criminal Criminal A might not even be a bad guy in another world. Therefore, the real criminal is not A, but the environment that creates A, B, and C. People who live in a single world can come up with this theory. It's more likely, though, that people would just lynch Criminal A and overlook his environment. Did I confuse you? I'm sorry. Is my explanation too confusing? It's easy for me to see it like that because I'm from the normal world. Let me make it simple for you. The real suspect of these worlds is not an individual like my brother Keiichi. As soon as I'm Shion, it's the environment. The rules of this world are the real suspect. You're in a pretty good shape if you realize that. All you need to do is identify the three rules within this village. Rules X, Y, and Z. That will put you in a better position. Once you understand this, you'll be able to tell, find the truth much easier. See? Isn't it fun? These worlds seem so different that there are only three rules that govern them all. This is very interesting. If this was a different place, you wouldn't see much difference in each world. It keeps me excited to just stay here and watch these worlds. Anyway, there's one more piece of truth that I can see. That's the biggest issue for Eureka. It's facing. It, you guys should tell me, should I just, uh, should I reverse the um, order of the names? Or should I just keep reading it in uh, Japanese name order? Because um, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it how it looks there for now. But um, if you guys think it flows better if I say Rika Fruda instead of Fruda Rika, uh, just tell me. The truth is that Fruda Rika is always killed at the end. Okay, I'll read. I'll just read it as it as it looks. Is that it's as if June of the 58th year of the Showa era is a dead end for her. not just a random thing. It happens all the time. That means it's the same pattern as the death of Tomitaki and Takoma. Sorry, I had to yawn a bit there. It's getting late. It's following the exact same rule. Rule Y. Tomitaki Jiro. And Takano Mio are always murdered on the night of Otanagashi. Furudirika's date of death is not always the same. 
that she's always dead by the middle of June. Tommy Talking and Takana are probably attacked on their way home. And that's why it always happens on the same night. I'm kind of grappling with the fact that it might actually be EDA. And Takano is innocent in some way. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I really thought she was evil. <laughs> but the case of Rurudu Rika is different. She takes different actions in every world. And her lifestyle is very unpredictable. Which makes sense because, you know, she's remembering all the different worlds, so naturally she would do different things and attempts not to die. For that reason, the day of her death is not always the same. However, she always dies in June because someone has a strong intention to kill her in June. Can it be that the death of Ruririka is related somehow to the deaths of Tomitake and Takano? Is the same person killing all three of them? I don't know if it's done by the same person, but I'm sure they're all connected. I, I, I can't believe I'm just now thinking of saying this after so long to the stream, but um, how is the music volume for you guys? Is that, is that okay? Or, um, or is it too low? I don't know if it's done by the same person. But I'm sure they're all connected. Thank you. Thank you. Is it the same person? Or the same organization? Do they have the same views? Or the same goals? Rika's biggest goal is to get away from her deadly fate. But it doesn't mean that she just wants to leave the village and survive. I just had a thought. Is, is this Ghost Girl? But Ghost Girl sounded more immature. And this, this character talk sounds a lot more mature. I don't know. But it, doesn't, but it doesn't just mean that she wants to leave the village and survive. She wants to live happily in the village. All of her friends must be, also be happy with her. That's the happy future that she hopes for. It's ironic that she can't even obtain that simple happiness after repeating years and years of the same life. Are they going to say which years? Ages. We know, no, I guess not. We know this tragedy because we've been repeating the world with her. Okay. So these two are in the same boat as Rika. So one of these people might actually be Ghost Girl. The other one is brand new. By the way, I have some interesting information. Please share, please share. Most of the time, we don't know who kills Rika. That's absolutely right. But in some worlds, her death was caused by her possessed friends. And in some worlds, it's caused by herself. Right. It happened in the Watanagashi and Meikashi chapter. The fact that Watanagashi and Meikashi are separate timelines is still fucking blowing my mind. Seriously. I just... Oh my god. I just... Oh my god. Oh, I just... To let that sink in. Oh my god. Rudy Rico committed suicide, but she was pretty much killed by Sonazaki Shion in those worlds. That means, in 
messed up the plan, thinking we were going to kill her and play it out. Disturbing for a while. And then, therefore, no, no disaster. Hold on a second. Can I just adjust the microphone here? Tell me if this is um is is worse or or if I should speak up or if it's uh, softer. Oh my God, that you're right. That was the big clue. Uh, you're right, Jay and Trad. Oh my God, that that was the big clue. That something was up. Oh my God. Oh my god, I wonder how many people noticed that. I bet people at the time who had the t chance to go over and over the chapters, they probably noticed it. Whoever kills Rika has a strong will to kill her. But she was killed before that, as a result of the Lex. Real suspects must have panicked after that. That's almost their only purpose. Was to just take Rika's life. No. Never to rule why with the help. But if they had other purposes, that should have messed up their plans. Perhaps there might be something in common in the Watanagashi and the Akashi chapter. That didn't happen in other worlds. Unfortunately, what? 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 Or by any chance? Do you know what happened? What? What the fuck? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I expected to do this today and, you know, go da, 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 happy Higurashi music. We're going to start. We're going to do the freaking club activities. Keiji's going to be walking down the road and we're just going to go straight up, you know, to the school. Everyone's happy. We're going to see baby girl. We're going to get some what you got eat? And like, you know, get, you know, like all these funny things. We're going to have Satogo lay a trap. But no, no, we get this. We get that shit. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't handle all this at once. I hope you know the world that where Fruity Rika is still alive. 
You are a special existence who was born in a superior world. Is this Rika? Person, existence, dual person talking to the player. Is the, is the player a character, or, 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 or are they breaking the fourth, fifth wall? I don't know. I, 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 I'm sorry. Is there anything that didn't happen? Yeah, the disaster didn't happen in the Watanagashi and the Akashi chapters. That happened in all the other worlds after Riku's death. If you know anything, that must be another truth upon the why. The memories I have here are all mainly about the chaos brought by Riku's friends. That is roulette. But if the dark rules are common among all the worlds, they might be the factors that control the tragedy of Hinamizawa. If that's the case, if, if that's the case, it will be tough for Rika. So, is Rika some kind of collective consciousness? Because they talk about Rika as both themselves and someone else. Oh my god, just... Uh, 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 my brain. Oh god. She needs to fight rule Y in order to survive. Otherwise, she will never get out of June of the 58th year of the show of her. She also needs to save her friends from Rule X. Otherwise, one of her precious friends will have a tragic end. That will defeat the whole purpose of Rika surviving beyond June of the 58th year of the show era. She also needs to shatter Rule Z by revealing that the Sonozaki family is not a threat, just like how Sonozaki Shion tried in the Akashi. As long as Rule Z may have remained in effect, the same tragedy might happen in the 59th year. Interesting. Yeah, the disaster that wouldn't happen. So is the disaster something that can only happen in the 58th year? 83. Perhaps that's why the friends start losing their minds. Namizawa believes that the Sonozaki family is plotting and scheming, and that the tragedy is caused by the curse of Oyoshiro Sama. That fact might be the main culprit behind this tragedy. Namizawa believes people are not surprised to see somebody die on the night of work Tanagashi. That type of thinking is keeping the curse alive in Hinamizawa, and it causes more tragedy. It's Rule Z reinforcing itself. We are getting meta as fuck! Oh god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is 
there's some kind of collective consciousness thing going on inside me now without where we're like okay just uh, keep going rule x y and z there are three rules that hunt Rika down in the eternal June of the 58th year of the Shoah era, 1983. They are tough, op they're all tough, op tough obstacles. We didn't even find these three common rules until recently. Were you aware of them? I was aware of uh, some of the things in general. I've always been a B-plus student. I guess that's pretty good. I've always tried so hard in the past, in the past to break these rules. But I've never been successful. Okay, see, now this Rika is... What the fuck is Rika? Seriously, what the fuck are you, Rika? They have blueberry. What the fuck are you? Oh, i sorry. I hit the microphone. <laughs> what the fuck are you? Oh my god. I've tried so hard in the past to break these rules, but I was never successful. However, a miracle happened in the Sumi Horiboshi Hunter. Hell yeah, it did. Yeah, my boy. Sweetie guy, I've had a cage chief remembered a piece of memory from another world. And he stopped the tragedy from happening to his friend. However, yeah, Rika was killed anyway. Oh God. But one of the rules was broken in that world. That was a huge step forward. Mika knew that there were three common rules among the worlds, but she could never break any of them. Eventually, she started giving up and lost interest in the worlds. Yep, that's how I was born. Being from a higher plane develops dissociative identity. Oh my god. Is that what Ghost Girl is? Just some kind of oh, split personality of Rika's? Like, oh. oh my god. But she's different now. She learned something valuable from Mebera Keiji. The rules can be broken with a strong will to fight. Yep. Absolutely. Jeez. If she can break all three rules, Rudirika will be free from her eternal prison. But she doesn't have much time left. Physical lifespan is not the problem. But her mental Oh god. Oh god, did I predict what was gonna happen? Oh god. Oh god, is Rika gonna die? Uh, even after we fix everything. Oh god. Her mental lifespan is getting shorter. Oh god. Mentally, she is extremely old. And her soul is starting to turn into something different. And she may not even be able to feel these individual worlds anymore. It's getting very close to that point. 
eventually she will start to hallucinate and completely lose her spirit in Puerto Rico. Then she will disappear. I knew there had to be some kind of time limit to these resets. Oh God. But what's causing them? Is it Rico doing it herself? Or themselves, I should say? I darkness. Eventually, we will die. Rudy Rika is aware of that. Oh, Blueberry, what are you? Oh, God. Oh, God. that her mental love span is getting shorter and shorter. Is that Ghost Girl's name? Is also losing her powers? So this is not Ghost Girl talking. Hanyu is the one doing the resets. It's Ghost Girl doing the resets. Oh my god. And they do rewinds, which is why sometimes that's how it's different. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this Hanyu. So Ghost Girl is Hanyu. She has a name. She can't rewind the year the time like she used to. So every year I bet the reset is getting shorter. Her power is decreasing. And she can barely rewind one month at a time. Oh god, so... I guess it starts right when Keiji moves in. Right now, oh my god, so... Himatsu must have been much further back. Back when she could rewind years and years. Oh my god. Actually, oh my god. She can only rewind a few weeks. should only have about two weeks in the next world. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. And that means, that means, oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And that means that, oh, Matsuri would be your last chance. It would be barely of even a week before the festival. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. About two weeks in the next world. Rudy Rika is going to try and make three moves. In just two weeks. Oh god. There you go, Burn. I want to know what's outside the world. Let's try it. Finally realized the highway. Oh no! I didn't I didn't see it! Oh god! Jeez. Chapter I didn't get to finish the poem. I guess I'll see it later. Oh god. Jeez. Chapter seven. Minagoroshi.
No, thank you. Thank you, Owe. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Okay. The higher I climb, the more pain I feel when I fall. When my curiosity toward the world and my physical pain become equal, I finally stood, understood the meaning of the frog in the well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my motherfucking god. Oh my god. Apparition. Thank okay. Thanks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So Rika has like some kind of split personality and oh my god. And that's not even Ghost Girl. And the other half, at least they're both good people. And that, oh god. Okay. Oh my god. That was a fucking prologue. Oh jeez. I guess we're not going to have very many club activities two weeks before her death, which is like maybe one week before the festival. Oh god. So that means I guess a lot of the events of Sumi Horiboshi have happened. I wonder if, um, I wonder if Rina was already killed by Rena. <sighs> Alright, I'll, I'll just, I'll continue reading. I feel no gravity in the darkness. And I lose all of my senses. Uh, oh my god. I bang my head on the floor with a dull thud. I see stars behind my eyelids and huddle into a ball while holding my head in pain. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Rika! Please say something! I have no idea. We're going from Rika's perspective. I had no idea. Oh my god, she just reset! She just reset into this, oh my god. Okay, oh my god. I have no idea why I'm in this situation. But I realize I fell off the cliff as I hear their voices from the top of the cliff. There was a moment, was there a moment like this? That's right. I was playing behind the shrine with the rest of the club members. I got too excited and start doing something very dangerous. Then the tree branch broke. That's how I fell off the cliff. My body starts to ache all over. I remember how I fell, but I still feel strange for some reason. I can't remember what I was doing. No, I can't remember who Fururirika was before I fell off the cliff. Oh, shit, fucker. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. This is not the time to have amnesia. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, Rika, no, 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 no. Oh God, this is not the time. This is not the time to have amnesia. Oh God, oh God. Oh, 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 oh God. I hear Hanyu's scared voice. Yep, that's her, oh my God. Oh my god. So she has no memory of the current. Okay. That's that's the girl. That's the purple haired girl. That, <laughs> I was literally just spoiled on what she looked like. Oh my god. But she has horns? Is she a demon? So there really are fucking demons.
god. <laughs> I look behind me and I... Well, not just because she's a demon doesn't mean she's bad. I think she looks really cute. <laughs> oh my god. I jeez. I look behind me and see Hani staring there with a scared look on her face. And she is. Hanya. Ouch. What just happened? Oh, well, you were playing with everyone and fell off the cliff. Are you okay? Hanyu, I don't care about that. What day is today? What year and what month is it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so she knows. She knows. She knows. Oh, my God. Motherfucker. I'm, I'm sorry. This was not how I expected to start a Higurashi chapter, and this is probably the third time I've said this. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what day is today? What year and what month is it? I always ask this question first when something like this happens. She finally realizes that I'm asking the same old question. Oh, she moved her head. There she is. Um, as soon as the 50th year of Showa, the Watanagashi Festival. It did, yeah. Sumi did, but it was on the, um... Sumi did start on a very serious note, but it was a flash forward. And it was normal. Like, they were just gathering in the junkyard. Tanigashi Festival is next week, so uh, my voice is getting a bit scratchy. Sorry. Next week, so no way. No way. I only have that much time left. Oh God, Rika. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, it's just next week. Oh God. Jeez. Does that mean Rina is already dead? Like, was she already killed? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh god, oh god. Wait. Does that mean... Ren is a murderer forever? <laughs> oh god. Baby girl. Oh, this is the best we can do. On you, but it's regretfully. I'm in the middle of June, show up 58. If she's saying this is the best we can do, I have no choice. I can't be complaining. I gradually start to remember more things. Good note. That means Tepe and Rina are dead forever. I guess. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I guess they are, because. Oh god. Uh, after Venice surrendered to the police, I'll class me for the checkers of the clinic. I didn't get hurt. I was 
But that really helps whoever keeps killing her. Oh, God, oh, geez. Please tell me if my voice is too quiet. I just, oh, God. Oh, God. My baby girl's gonna be a murderer forever. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not the best way to be yuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yep, let me get closer then. But I'm not in my memory of like. I was just saying, like. It is? Okay, let me, um. Uh, it is? Uh, let me, let me lower it. Is this better now? Is is the music lower now? Okay, it's actually just fading out. The loop is fading out, so let's wait for it to get back to. Oh, oh, I, uh, where it was, in terms of loudness. Okay, is it is it good now? The volume of the music compared to my voice, I mean. Okay, good. Thank you. Always, you always tell me when um, I have um, something with my voice. Like, or it's too soft because the whole point is so you guys could hear me. And uh, that would really suck if I was just talking and, and you didn't hear me. Alright, great. I'm just saying how... Uh, I'm just really just uh, about like the fact that Rena is gonna be a murderer forever. Oh God! But to balance that out, Tepe and Rena are dead, so forever too. So nothing bad is. So it's kind of a. That's what my memory is like. That's why I have no clear memory of what happened and how I died that night. I only have vague memories. I think someone covered my mouth with a handkerchief or something. And I passed out. That's about the only thing I remember vaguely. I'm not even sure if that really happened. Can she ask Hanyu? Like, what, what is Hanyu aware of exactly? Or does Hanyu's memory do the same thing? The only thing I know for sure is that I was attacked on my way home, or possibly after I got there. And that I was murdered suddenly. I don't know who killed me or how I was killed. 
I'm glad that at least I don't remember the horrific ending of my life every time it happens. Yet, because of my experience, I think I now understand why ghosts wander around this world without knowing that they died from sudden accidents. Damn track when it's a hobo in the woods who controls the cicadas. <laughs> ah, hey, jeez. Very funny. <laughs> if it's a death from a long sickness, people tend to remember that they were ill. They can kind of assume that they die after being sick for a long time. When the memory is violently disrupted like mine, it can get quite confusing. Well, even then, she knows what she was doing, at least a little while before she was taken, so this person who keeps killing her keeps it, is wily enough to keep doing this over and over again. Oh my god. I can't believe in this introductory section so many of my questions were answered and it's bringing up on so many more oh sorry about that oh my god oh When I first experienced this, I wasn't sure if I was dreaming or not. But well, that's of oh, the first reset. I even thought I hit my head hard and lost my memory. I need to organize my memory. Oh, good. Okay, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, Blueberry, come on. Okay, tell us to, to organize, please. My name is Perudu Vika. People look at me in a special way, but that's not a big deal for me. All I want is a happy life where I can stay with my best friends. I just realized something. Even though we see the everything from Keiichi's perspective, I think when we start each chapter, it's from when Rana, it's from when Rika's reset is. That's why we can talk about previous events that we know from the chapter, from previous chapters that happened. And that's why the time until the festival keeps getting shorter Yep, this is what she said in Himatsu. All I want is a happy life where I can stay with my best friends. Yeah, that that's that's a weird one. Did she get did Han you get like an extra boost in spiritual power or something? <laughs> like to, to go back years? That or that might maybe that one's out of order. I don't know. That is a good question about Himatsubushi. I can't remember how long I've been living just to get that simple happiness. The scared girls. Oh, good. We're going to talk about her. her name is Hanyu. I'm the only one who can see her. Yep, 100% ghost girl. Perhaps she only exists inside of my head. Anyway, she is only visible in front of my eyes. It will be a long story if I try to explain Hanyu's existence. No, 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 come on, I have all the time in the world, please. No, please, do it, god fucking damn it. Oh, I'm not gonna do that now. 
Oh, I really want you to explain it. Oh, jeez. Besides, I don't even know how I should be talking about it. She's been there since I was born. And her existence is a natural thing for me. My mind is still my mind is still exploding from before. I just Party loud and act crazy together all the time. I'm never bored when I'm with them, and I love them very much. <sighs> Who is Ghost Girl? On you, exactly. She 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 has horns. She, there really were demons. Yamizawa in ancient times. Oh my god. Like real demons, like mythological demons, and no wonder people freaking intermated with them because they're really cute. So, jeez. If Hanyu is anything to go by, they do. Like, oh my god. But how does she get inside Rika's head? Oh my god, Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh baby girl, oh my god, she's worried. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do voices. Uh, because I've been talking for like several hours straight here. Did you finger and go? Where'd you get hurt? Show it to Uncle Neon. Oh, I bet she said. I bet in the other translation she said. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew the second I said that, someone was gonna fucking write that down in the fucking chat. Hey, jeez. Like they are like you know what I mean. Like they are like monster voices. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean they aren't monster. Um, sorry looking demons. They're like cute demons. Yeah, sure. Okay. Where'd you give her? She was Uncle Mion, which in the old translation would be uh, this old man. I'm pretty sure. Me. Yeah. Yeah, that, that does sound more natural. I just got a bump on my head. I think all I got was a bump. My injury is not as serious as everyone is worried. <laughs> so Joker's right! Funny. <laughs> Sorry. You need to be careful, even though you may feel like you're fine. That's true. To get the manager check you out just in case. <laughs> oh god, that word. That word. I think that's a good idea. Oh, 
baby girls. See we don't get them. Oh. Yeah, and there's Neon with her gun. Phone at some house and call on you. You don't need to do that. I'm totally fine. Nipa. Oh, that's Nipa. It is. No, God. You need to be care out cautious. Oh, my God. I think uh, after the next scene, I'm going to stop when the scene changes because my voice is at a kind of uh, breaking point soon. Satoko warns me with a stern voice. It's really not a big deal. But I decide to nod since Satoko is trying to be generous. She's not trying to boss me around or anything. She's only saying this because she cares about me. I've seen it in the many different lives that I've been through. I have no doubt that she's really concerned about me. It's not just Satoko. Neon, Veda, and Kuchi are the same. They're all so nice to me, and they truly care about me. Neon leaves to look for a phone. Veda also leaves with a towel looking for the water tap. Satoko is here, taking care of me with a worried face. Hanya is just there with a scared look. Some missing A's here, but maybe. Keiichi seemed to be scared too, but he's trying not to show his emotions. Standing by me with a calm expression. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm not in pain at all. I'm glad you're not seriously injured. I was so worried. I wouldn't feel anything about his words, if this was a while ago, but at that moment when Venna took over the classroom and attacked me on, Keiichi tried his best to save him. I never expected to see Keiichi so strong like that, because sweetie guys and motherfucking badass. He's usually an insensitive guy who hurts other people's feelings without noticing. But that's not his true self. <laughs> yeah, that is not his true self. Oh, yeah. He has a secret side. He's willing to sacrifice himself for other people. Absolutely. I was just observing that not too long ago. That's why I can honestly feel his generosity now. That's right. In case you revived his memory from an alternate world, in the previous world, I wonder if he still carries that memory in this world, too. Now, he didn't fully awaken his reading Steiner for a while, until after. The night before, uh, I think it was when uh, did the school takeover. If that's the case, I have some hope. Yep. Hanyu and I are totally powerless. Oh god, no. Hanyu is only like heir to everyone but me. Everyone but me. And I'm just a little girl. There's only so much that we can do ourselves. But Keiji is different. 
You changed the destiny that I've been giving up on. You're somebody who may have the power to take me to my unseen future. Hell yeah! Oh my god. If I can get Keiji to understand me, he could be my hero. Perhaps I'm actually not expecting that much out of him. I just want someone to understand my struggles and stuck in this maze. Yeah, I, I thought that's what she would think. She needs some company. She must be so lonely. Because Hanji was there, but she's the only one who can talk to her. Keichi. I speak to him slowly. It's been a while since I felt nervous like this. I've not felt this way since I started living my life in show of the gate endlessly. Interesting. Show of 58 endlessly. And how in the hell did he lost him? What is up with him on soon? As a witch. Okay, that's right, she's the freaking descendant of Frederica, is my theory, and um, she must have inherited her powers. Oh my god. I already know what his response will be before I even talk to him. Just make sure, um, I just want, sorry, check one more time, because I know my voice volume was an issue. Uh, am I too low, or, or is it fine? Silent because they already know how pitiful the reply would be. Thank you. But I wonder why am I so nervous now? Huh? Did you call me the other time? Pardon me, it gives me a disappointed look before I start talking to Kate. She looks so sad. Oh, God. Uh, I already know what Hanji was thinking already. The miracle is not going to happen. Looks like there won't be any justice for all here. Oh, God. Hanyu, at the end of this chapter, she's going to put all her power into one last reset, isn't she? I wonder how far they'll let you go back. miracles do happen. One could have happened many times in my other lives. But I've only seen one miracle before. The miracle that Keiji gave me was a once in a lifetime kind of miracle. Perhaps if it happens again, it would be a true miracle. I will get out of this world just because I rolled six on the die once. I can't get out unless I get a miracle that's equivalent to getting six on the die ten times in a row. Yeah, I, I can see that analogy, yeah. I roll ten dice, pretend that they're all turn out to be six. Keiji. What is it? Are you hurt, anyone? He looks at me worriedly after I call his name twice. Keiji, do you remember? 
I know how sudden my question is. As I expected, he looks at me with a confused face. Huh? What are you talking about? Yeah, he didn't get it back until like the two night before. Rana okay, took over the school, which is not yet. Bad to her. You better say something. The Toku, brave little firefly. Keiichi, do you remember climbing up on the school roof? We could say school roof. Oh God, climb up there. I'm not asking you, Satoko. Do you remember Keiichi? I did? I climbed up on the roof? When? Yep. There must be some kind of mistake, Sean. I know he hasn't experienced it in this world yet. But please tell me that you remember. I know you've never been up on the roof, but you should remember doing it. Oh God, Vika, you're getting desperate. You're not supposed to be remembering it, but you actually did it once. You should be able to remember it once again. <laughs> the Toko's expression. Maybe you went up there to get a ball or something. Never. Have you been up there, Satoko? No way. I get in big trouble if I do something like that. But I bet it'd feel really good to take a nap up on the roof. I stare at her fiercely, Hanya realizes that she crossed the line. This may be a waste of time. This maze room may not have an exit. It might be an endless circle without a goal. Somebody else called this timeline thing a maze before, too. Did Hanyu go and examine Tobitaki's body in Tsunuraboshi and see that scene in front of Lidiria and Ulushi? It might be an endless circle without a goal. When I stuck in 
cage you might be able to get me out of here. But that cage you have found is only in your heart. I cage you in this world and you can have a miracle in your hands. It's not true, but I'm not going to give up. I gave up in my last life too knowing that Rena was beyond saving. I said goodbye to her and gave up on my life. But Cage, he fought and broke the circle of destiny. I should have worked harder with that Cage in this world. With that, in that world. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, that's what I was saying at the time. Oh God, but she was too jaded. I knew, I knew that she was, I, I said at the time, she wasn't putting in enough effort. Oh God, but she's so jaded. Oh God. I could have broken the cycle. I'm going to repeat living this life, waiting for that miracle to happen again. I can't do that. I don't want to repeat the same life anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this world and my destiny and everything. I'm getting murdered by destiny. Okay, she showed me a miracle. I should be able to do the same too. I must fight. I must fight with all my remaining power. I was always fighting. It was always when I had more power. I was fighting when I had more power. But I never made it. How could I expect to win this time? Still. She taught me that destiny can be broken. I'm going to fight one more time. Oh God, oh God. Okay. You know what? I, I want to read the tip. And uh, then I'll stop for today. I do want to read the tip. I'm sorry for leaving you like this. I just need you to understand. I'd rather take my own life than be fearful of how many days I have left to live. That's why I'm writing this letter to you. I can't stand the fear of being unable to leave behind a will while my life is prolonged even as I lose my consciousness. In the end, there's nothing I can leave behind for me. I was unable to leave any of my achievements to this world. I was forgotten before I was dead. I leave this world a humiliated man, knowing that I had no appreciation from anyone. You must do better than me. You must achieve something that your grandfather was never able to achieve. I don't mind what field you choose. Speaking to their grandchild, whoever this is, you must leave your name in this world. You must leave your achievement to this world. You will eventually die someday. You will eventually turn to ash. That's your destiny as a human. 
But if you achieve, achieve a great success, you will live forever, even after you depart. Those who live beyond their deaths are called gods. Oh, I wish to become one, but I was unable to do so. What do they mean by a great success? Oh, God. Oh God, what what exactly measures this great success? You must become a god someday. Oh my god. Who the fuck has Yoko with? I'm thinking through all the characters. Have we heard this blank blank Yoko person? Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna save here. And I think I'm gonna end the stream. But this... Sayoko? Sayoko? Wait, Sayoko. If I look it up, it'll be small for sure. Sayoko. Because there's many Japanese names that end in Yoko. Sayoko, Hyoko. So that, okay, so, oh god, wait, because that said blank blank Yoko, so it should, should it be Toko? Are you, wait, you're confusing me now, I do. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. Okay, so it is really. Who the fuck? Okay, so it's not Sayoka. I don't know. Okay. Right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream for now, you guys. It was this was a <laughs> drink you go. This was an experience. I'm gonna see you guys in the chat. Oh my god, because my voice is really good. So good night. Well, good night. I'll, I'll chat for a while in the Discord, but this was an experience. Thank you guys so much for uh, being here to see my first stream. This was really, really sweet of you guys to do. Hey, I'll see you on the chat in the Discord. And uh, bye for now.